Hey guys, I'm Bob from Mature Gents, and I'm here to give you a little update on some of the new things that have come into the store, some of the things that are coming, and some of the projects we've been working on. So first off, let's start with Templeton Tonics Oasis. Now, a couple of scents that we thought were retired, uh, Chris has re-resurrected. We've got Oasis in Nomad, which is kind of an incense oud type of... Uh, of scent and then heritage and this is like a classic barbershop scent so these are available now I'm not sure if we can get more of these in the future as of right now we still got stock on both of those now let's talk about Lockhart's now Lockhart's has done a complete rebranding new formulas new package size they've kind of standardized on a 3.4 ounce uh, plastic jar the price has gone up a little the Jar size has gone down a little, but that's, you know, that's a sign of the times, right? New formula. So some of you guys have tried this. Some of the new Lockhart's, we've already brought it in. You guys, it's in the hands. It's out in the field. It's out in the wild. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. Now Lockhart's is also expanding their product range. They're in the shave soap game now. This, you would typically associate goon grease with an oil-based product for your hair. This is a shave soap. This is barbershop. Smells fantastic. I haven't tried it, but some of you, you know, this is already out in the wild. Let us know. Give us your feedback. They also uh, let me know that their goal was kind of to be as good as PAA, which is a pretty high standard in the shave soap game. And uh, they think they've reached it. So I'm anxious to give this a try. I don't have a lot of real estate to shave, but I do shave my cheeks, trim my neck, twice a week. They've also, I think, come out with post-shave lotion, about five more scents, beard oil. So Lockhart's is, is really um, stepping up, stepping up. Now, speaking of shave soap, um, Educated Beards, our Canadian uh, company, is now also in the shave soap game because, like I said, you still need to shave. And, you know, their logo guy who's usually got a beard, I don't know if you can see that. He's got a clean shaven face, so kind of clever. So we've got this in grapefruit and bergamot and peppermint and uh, cedarwood. Now, next up, we have a new Canadian company we've brought in. Uh, we've brought in a little initial order to see how you guys respond. The response has been good. We love a good bar soap, and that's exactly what these guys do. High quality bar soap, nicely packaged, great scents, and, you know, family run business here in uh, Ontario. I mean, I, I love it. We brought in some of their soaps. We brought in some of their natural deodorants. Uh, no aluminum, no alcohol. Pretty good product. Very good price. Also, what we have in the house from Lather is an emu beard oil. This is, uh, you know, I'm sure you've heard of emu ostrich oil. It's supposed to be very good for the beard uh, property-wise. It's, it's fantastic. Ticks a lot of boxes. I haven't tried it myself personally. Um, we have it. If you guys want to give it a shot, we'd love to hear your feedback on it. So we have brought it in three cents, I think. Now, next up is a new scent we brought in from Artius Man. Now, Artius Man, this is called Tinderbox. This is their tobacco and vanilla. I'm curious that Artius Man was able to achieve a tobacco vanilla because they only use essential oils. So, yeah, hats off to them for tobacco vanilla. We've got it in beard oil, and we've got it in their butter. And we also brought in a new scent from Copper John's. And this one, uh, Old... I can't pronounce it. Old Ephraim. That also has some tobacco in it. And we brought this in in oil and butter. You guys have responded well. You seem to love the Copper John's products, so... Uh, we'll expand the scents as we go. Beard Octane now has a nice, cool box. So their beard oil is in a box now. I like it. It's got a lot of information because you can appreciate that beard oil label. That's not a lot of real estate to put in all the information. So a box sure helps. And uh, yeah, cool. Like it. Now, we've also put ours in a paper cardboard tube. This gives us room to expand the information on the label. Some other things we're working on. We've got one candle out, a coffee scent, 
Got another candle coming soon, dropping in about a week or two. And wax melts are coming. Uh, this is tobacco vanilla. There's, uh, so these are wax melts. And I think I'm going to have to do a little video on wax melts and what they are and how to use them. Because surprisingly, a lot of people I know don't know what a wax melt is. So, yeah, don't laugh. But uh, we'll, we'll have this coming soon in a bunch of cool scents. Working on a, some new scents for beard oil. Um, this one here, I keep coming back to. I mean, I, you wouldn't think this would work, but it does. I'll give you a hint. This is based on sandalwood, but with a bit of a twist. Some vanilla in there. Okay, sandalwood vanilla. Good combo. But the secret ingredient here just really, really makes this addicting. So look for that soon. And um, I think that's all. That's all I've got for you today. So thank you for all of you. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Our bar soap. Thank you so much for buying all our bar soap. You guys just roll in and clean us out. So trying to catch up. I've made three batches. Uh, it's curing. They take four to six weeks to cure. I like the bar to be to, to last, you know, in your shower to last long. So it needs a good curing time. So those are about two, three weeks away. If you're watching this video in the future, go check. It might be there right now. But anyway... Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. We appreciate, we love all you guys and uh, we'll see you next time.